Look, our next interview, in some ways, um, folds into the terrible situation now unfolding in the country. This lack of CO2, which is leading, some are predicting, to a 5 to 10% increase in the price of craft beer and all sorts of problems for the hospitality industry. And I was unaware of just how bad the news was going to be this morning before um, Benny teed up our, our next uh, interview with uh, the ABC, the Alcoholic Beverage Council, and its CEO, Virginia Nichols. And the interesting thing is, you will know, you will be aware, if you're on Twitter, Facebook, if you've listened to the woke mainstream media, and I don't know, Paddy Gow has given up the booze, and Guy and Espen has written a book about it that we're going to talk with him, with him about later, and Helen Clark's going on saying don't drink, and we're all being told we're terrible booze hounds. But are we really? Um... Did we all over-imbibe over the summer holidays as we sat in the rain? Uh, Did we all get absolutely SHIT-faced and do terrible things and kill each other on the road or not? Well, I always think it's good to look at data and what evidence we've got to support such wild claims. So we are joined by Virginia Nichols, CEO of the Alcoholic Beverage Council. Virginia, Happy New Year. Welcome to the platform. Yes. Happy New Year. All right, now... Nice to have you. Yeah, nice to, ha- to have you on the program. Now, uh, have you Thank guys you. done some research recently on how we're drinking? And as I've got to say, just in general terms, overall the messages are generally negative about how terrible we are. Um, do you have any new data? Do you have any new information about how we're drinking? And uh, can we make some generalisations about whether or not we do just go and get hammered at the beach in the barbie over the holiday break? Yeah, well, I think we do do um, market research as well. We've done it. This is the fifth year that we've done it. We do with Curia Market Research. And um, as you'll know, that three quarters of Kiwis are pretty comfortable with drinking in social situations. Yeah, okay. So, well, first, I say we're comfortable with drinking, <laughs> obviously. Uh, no, I think, I think really we are comfortable with drinking but i think you have to realize too that four out of five new zealanders drink in moderation and these are health new zealand um data as well yeah. and 81 percent of us drink in a really responsible way um but there are 18.8 percent of us that drink in a hazardous way and even though that's a decrease of about two percent the last five years it's still too high okay but it is coming down so only geez so about a fifth of us might or you could say are problem drinkers or can be problem drinkers. Yes, that's right. Yeah, They, they were all but at the again, New Year's 81- party I was at, um, Virginia. Um, and I guess at, this t- at that time of the year, um, we are more likely to imbibe, aren't we? Yes, we are. We, and, you know, these are celebration times, and yes, we are. But we certainly want to say to people just to think about what they're drinking, how they're drinking. And there's a whole lot of alternatives out there now as well. So, for instance, there's a lot of low and no alcohol options too, beautiful products. Yeah. Um, and about 56% of us are now partaking in some of those different um, products, which is great. Okay, so the, the non-alcoholic sector... And you people Hmm. are involved in that. The Alcoholic Beverage Council represents companies who make low alcohol or no alcohol products. Those sales are going up all the time, are they? Those sales are going up. And also, too, that people are also sort of what we call sip and savouring. So they're actually enjoying a drink for a little bit longer. They're perhaps having a drink that they enjoy. It might be a craft beer. It might be a nice wine that they like. If you can afford the craft beer. Yeah. I I understand that, certainly. But... um, yeah, so, so we do at different times decide, gosh, we're going to have something a little bit more special, which is what I think we do at Christmas. And, and we sit on that for a little bit longer, which I think is a good thing. Yeah. Are we per head of population year on year drinking more or less, Virginia? No, we're drinking less. So over the last, since the late 1970s, we're drinking more than 25% less. So, so that's a good sort of cultural change, I guess, through yeah. time, which is a good thing. Yeah, I, I, I get. Yeah, okay. What about young folk and young folks' consumption? Have you done any recent research on that? Yeah, well, um, Health New Zealand has um, done research on that. So again, there's probably a couple of areas there. There's young people that are under the drinking age, and that's coming down as well, which is good. It's about seventeen percent less than it was in two thousand and six, two thousand and seven, which is a good thing. Mm. Um, they they still 
had 57% of the 15 to 17 year olds have had alcohol in the past year. Okay, it's yeah. stayed down by 17.4%. Um, so it, again, it's moving in the right direction, but again, it's probably higher than what we'd like. Yep. All right. Look, are you in a position to comment on what we've discovered today or this morning is really quite a crisis, the CO2 crisis, which is affecting yeah. the craft brewing and the brewing or, or, or hospitality industry. Is that a, a problem the industry recognises and has, has got a plan to deal with or not? Well, I think it's a significant problem, and it's not just going across beer, wine and spirits sector either. It's going much further than that. It's affecting then a lot in the food industry. It's going to affect the packaging, you know, meat, poultry, fresh fruit and things in supermarkets, um, the health sector and, you know, water treatment, and that's just some off the top of my head. It's a, it's a significant problem. Wow. Would that bring our drinking down further if you can't get a craft beer? <laughs> I, think, um, I think we will... Um, look, there are there are a couple of brewers in New Zealand that do make their own liquid CO2. Mm. So I think we're going to be okay from that point of view, but it is a significant issue, for instance, for our craft, um, our craft beer makers. It's significant. Yeah. Hey, Virginia. Um, and also, look, uh, can I just say, uh, I saw a stat, and I'm not sure if you were this before Christmas, about drink driving rates. Yes. And the yeah. number of people being convicted of drink driving is just plummeting. Yes, yeah, which is which is a really good thing. Um, it's down, I'm just trying to find my stats here, actually, um, on the drink driving one. Let's see, yeah. So it's down from about 2012-13, 23,200 had drink driving conviction. That's back in 2012-2013? Yes, and now between 2021 and 22, 13,000 had drink driving convictions. Not quite it's half, but that's like a 40% reduction in, in 10 good, years. It's a good reduction and really pleased about that, but it's still, it is still too high. Yeah. And I don't think any of us are still happy with that number, but I think it's important to, to see that there is some change happening out there. And again, I think that comes probably back to some of that cultural change that's been occurring for even before that time as well, of just we're drinking differently, which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, Virginia, nice uh, talking to you. Happy New Year to you, and I'm sure we'll talk yes. uh, throughout the year. Uh, thank Great. you very much Happy indeed. Happy New Year. Thank, thank you very much, Sean. Cheers. Cheers. Virginia Nichols, CEO of the Alcoholic Beverages Council. They represent the people, well, they make booze. But also, isn't it interesting, who now make not booze? Or low alcohol boost. That was the figure I saw was really interesting. So back in 2012, um, back in 2012, 2013, 23,008, let's say 24,000 people get done DUC, driving under the influence, or, or while in DWC, driving while intoxicate, uh, intoxicated. Ten years later, it's down to around 13,000 a year. That's good. That's driving to survive. But also we look at the other things, 81% of us, three quarters of us are comfortable drinking socially. I'm always comfortable drinking socially or not. Um, um, and 81% of us drink fine, we know what we're doing, 18% have a problem. They're always the ones that I end up partying with, unfortunately. Um, but when the wowsers have a go about the drinking and everything else, I tend to look at the trends that we've got in this country and they're all good. If, see, drinking, having a drink isn't inherently a bad thing to do. Um, being addicted to anything is a bad thing to do. Um, and doing anything to excess is generally a bad thing to do, apart from making money, um, you might say. Um, anyway, I was just interested in those stats to kick, uh, kick the year off and, of course, today they kind of marry in with the craft beer crisis looming across this nation, and that could have a political impact too. I mean, forget the economy and whether or not you can buy food for the kids. You can't sit down and have a bevy on a Friday, your favourite craft beer. That's going to affect the way people vote, isn't it? Now on the promo, looks like we have split you. Um... Here we go. Sean, the new promo with the COVID beep, beep, beep is very triggering. <laughs> it was designed to be. Uh, absolutely love the new promo, says Gail. Thank you. 
Steve says, love the new promos, so good. They just get better and better. Thank you, Sean. It's a pleasure to share Jacinda's last year as Prime Minister with you. Oh. Um, Murray says, though, not keen at all on the promo. Background tone is as insidious as the real government propaganda was. Thumbs down from me, says Murray. Have a craft beer, Murray. Um, uh, Sean, can you ask the booze lady if drinking less or just less volume of alcoholic beverage? Our consumption per head of population is dropping. Wouldn't there be more high alcohol beverages being consumed compared to low alcohol beer swilled in the 70s and 80s? No. No, there isn't. Um, Sean, easy, just don't have booze buses and don't check drivers, then you will catch less. I don't think that's the issue, mate. I think we're drinking driving less, which is a good thing. Sean, the government has got the drink driving stats down using the same technique that they've used to get the crime statistics down. Just don't pull up and test drivers and the drink driving convictions decrease, says John. Not from what I've seen. Sean, have we... Take a slightly off topic, Dave, I think. Um, Sean, I think support for ACT is going to be the big story at the election. I have a lifetime... I have lifetime Labour Party friends who are fed up with Labour's co-governance and identity politics agenda, can't bring themselves to vote for National, but agree with Act's almost non-conforming straight-up agenda. I find the switch very interesting. I do too. I do too.